Hello everyone, Nebris here, and welcome back to the Mind Crack Feed the Beast server. Um, yeah, I think I put out a whole episode a few days ago. <laughs> it's a bit, I have no idea when, but um, you know how my upload schedule usually goes, so it, it was probably a few days ago. <laughs> um, maybe it was one day ago, maybe I did two days in a row. That would be crazy, but yeah, we had a big group event, we got situated, did a whole bunch of stuff, and well, here's what we have now. We have some sort of storage, this is our current uh, power line, we've upgraded to an MFE being powered by a bunch of lava being pumped from over there, rolling machine, extractor, macerator, compressor, electric furnace. <clears throat> right now we're suffering from a terrible tin shortage. Uh, I had a lot to do with that. <laughs> um, oh yeah, rubber trees. We found this cool blue tree stuff. I went... Oh, there's our um, portal to Twilight Forest. I went and found a fall biomes area, so we got the colored trees as well. There's a little bit of a gold one left up there. There's these, those little set up. But <clears throat> I've been working over here trying to start the uh, power station. This is what I have so far. This is marble. It's pretty awesome. Um, something's going on over here with these magma engines. They seem kind of broke. I don't know why. Hopefully they'll stop being broke because I don't know how to fix them. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got this cool little setup. Just turn that on. It pumps netherrack into these magma crucibles. Um, they basically fill everything up with lava. It's self-powering using the magmatic engine. Pump stuff into these pipes. Geothermal generator. MFE. Brings it over here to this blast furnace. And this uh, low voltage transformer brings it over here to the industrial electrolyzer. And there's the gyms. Hey, the gyms. Do you know what's wrong with my magmatic engines? I hope he doesn't touch anything, because I already blew up one MFE full of stuff. <laughs> uh, maybe he can fix it. Hopefully he can. It was working just fine earlier. Oh, how does one fix them, Pyro? Break them and reset them. Oh, so it's not like, uh... Uh, that doesn't sound like fun. It's not like, um... What am I trying to say? It's not like they're broken because of some aspect of the game, but... But because it's just a buggy thing. So that shouldn't be too hard to fix, but, uh... That's not what we're doing in the meantime. We want to get this industrial blast furnace up and running, and in order to do that, we need some re enforced machine casings. These guys are expensive. We need advanced machines, advanced chipsets, and steel. Thankfully we have all these things. And in large enough quantities to get stuff done. You know, I'm just gonna take the whole sack. We also need these empty cells and some sand. Sand, guys, sand. And the ore chest. There's my silicon. Compressed air cell. Can you get rid of that? I don't know. Um, so yeah, this took a lot of resources, but here we go. We're finally going to be able to make the quantity we need. Nine. Nine. What happened? I need two more? Yeah, there we go. I don't know why I was scared of overdoing it. It's not like I had the resources to waste. Oh, so this is a personal safe. I can't open it. A lot of stuff a lot of stuff was disappearing when I needed it. That's Doc M's personal safe. Mine's right here. No biggie. Um, we're having a lapis shortage, as well as a tin shortage. Hopefully we'll get that fixed soon enough. So 
So here's ooh. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. So I have to break them and reset them. That sucks. I guess I won't be using magmatic engines then. As good as they are. Maybe it is a feature of the game because it did have its own have a BC wrench? I don't know what that means. British Columbia oh, um no I do not. Oop. These should be easy to get started again though. So I'm not too concerned. Alright, so we got that back up and running. Reinforced machine casing. I believe the correct way to <laughs> you thought you could sneak up on me. You were wrong. You were so wrong. I really hope you can break this without losing everything. If not, like, that's just terrible design. Alright. What is this? Heat capacity, 700k. Seems to be done correctly. Now, what I want to do... Oh yeah, first of all, let's put these empty cells in here. Sand there, and I should be getting silicon cells. So now I need to figure out how to make silicon plates. Silicon plate. I need just to put a silicon cell in the industrial blast furnace. So let's see what happens. It starts working on it. Ooh, I'm excited. Nothing's exploded yet. Somebody just tossed a bunch of presents. I'm hoping that you can eventually, you know, do something with these. <laughs> um, maybe on Christmas Day you can open them and get diamonds or something. Insufficient energy line. That's not good. The gold's probably not good enough to, uh... Yeah, gold's probably not good enough. I'm going to need to look into um, whatever comes after gold. What is that? Glass fiber? Glass fiber cable four. Let's make eight. So that's not too too expensive. Twelve glass, two diamonds, four redstone. Let's hurry up and get it. Get this over with. Question is, do we have glass? I wonder what to do with this compressed air. I want to make a paintball gun out of it or something. Twelve. I have a little bit of redstone. Glass fiber cable, yay! I hope that's the next thing. Hopefully they're going to get that Zycraft thing working, and then we can just get infinite, uh, or not infinite <laughs> energy. Uh, my cheaty mind is thinking of ways to be cheaty. There we go. Still an insufficient energy line. How does one power this correctly? I mean, it's certainly trying. How are these guys working? Don't seem to be producing much lava. Oh, there we go. We got our first little batch. Eventually, that'll get up and running. Why is this an insufficient energy? Maybe it's because it's also this is also drawing power. High capacity, 1700K, I'm guessing that's Kelvin. Kelvin's a pretty cool guy. I think it already took the cells, but I'm kind of concerned. There we go. 
Oh, so I can't have both running at the same time. I think that's the, the issue. Because now the, ener the energy line is sufficient now. I don't know what you're complaining about. See, I can't have both of these running. I'm afraid to put the elect the industrial electrolyzer somewhere else, though, because people have been known to break them, and they're quite expensive. You need three machine blocks, an electrolyzer, a magnetizer, and an extractor. They're very annoying to get. Mm, here we go. Gonna get our first silicon plates. so beautiful. So here's what we're going to make with these. Solar panel. Alright, so we're going to need generators, carbon plates, and mm, advanced, or medium circuits. Medium circuits? No, I think they're just called regular circuits. Then from there, the advanced ones are not hard to get. The hybrids, on the other hand, require iridium plates and scenarium, so those are hard to get. These guys? Oh my god. Advanced solar panels, enriched scenarium alloy, <clears throat> or just a whole bunch of hybrid ones in an advanced circuit. That actually might be easier and cheaper. Actually, no, because this both requires scenarium. Hmm. And lapis. Again, we're having a lapis shortage. Whew. So yeah, I look forward to this. Um... We're going to get the first solar panel pretty soon. What's going on here? Oh, that was working. Oh, we can probably get it right now. We just need carbon plate, which I don't have, because coal is kind of hard to come by. Alright, um, let me get the ingredients for that, and we'll get it up and running. Oh, by the way, See, this is slowly getting a little bit more lava. Actually, it isn't. Why is it not? It should slowly be increasing in lava. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's all going to these ones first. <laughs> which, you know, is cool. It, it'll slowly cascade down and eventually get to this thing, which is how it should be doing. Oh, but it's this has completely drained the power. That's no good. Probably gonna lose this silicon cell. MFE is not good enough. I mean, fully powered MFE is, but wow! I'm gonna cut the cable. Still trying to feed into it. I need I need this thing to recharge before we can uh, proceed. And I'm wondering if this is going to pump out lava too quickly. That needs to fill up, then this one, and then this guy. Although, they don't all... I mean, they, they suck in lava as best they can. Whew. Oh, that needs to be there. In the meantime, let's, uh, let's get our first solar panel up and running. I'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back. Um... Mark has gone on at some point. I may have missed that, but he's on. Life is good. Uh, that, I have no idea what that is. I'd really like to find out. Anywho, here we go. We're going to make our first solar panel. I feel like I'm missing something. Nope. Oh, it's just the fact that there's two of them and I haven't placed them. Boom, solar panel right there. Oh, that looks nice. Let's go place it. <laughs> that zombie looks so angry. So these are like high-level zombies. I don't... I don't know what's different about them other than the fact that they're a bit stronger. They claim that they were attacked by giants yesterday as well. I... I also don't know what that means. Wisps? Where's the wisp? I want to fight the wisp. Not with the solar panel, though. Oh my god. That is the last thing I want to fight with the solar panel. 
I would hate to lose it after all the work we just did. Getting it. Oh my. So, um... Let's just put it right there. That's it. That's all you can do. Alright, well, let's work on getting this next stage. But this next stage looks expensive. We need advanced alloys, which are always hard to get. How does solar panels work now? There's a slot? I don't remember this stuff. That might be good enough to start powering this thing again. We've still a long way to go. Oh, this has been completely drained. But you know it's still producing lava quite well. Because these guys are almost full. Lava is slowly trickling in. I don't think we're going to ever build up in excess. Not for some time. I mean, when, once this MFE gets full, which apparently takes a long time, because, I don't know. But we got the solar panel working now. Fortunately, it's night. I also have no idea how to <laughs> how it works. Uh, I can't wait to redo this entire thing because, like, I have I have high hopes for what I can make, um, power wise. Because eventually we need to be able to power the whole setup, all the plots over there, all the farming stuff over there, anything else we need to put in. Another thing I'd like to do is make a little Thomcraft, uh, you know, guild or something up there, like I wanted to do with Equivalent Exchange before it got nerfed. And uh, actually, it's not even in the pack, so it got excluded, which is worse than nerfed. So yeah, this is going very well. We just need to keep this chunk loaded so we can continuously pump lava into this guy, get it maxed out, and so we can start making more plates. They're going to be expensive to make a whole bunch, but we're... Especially, we need sand. We should probably consider an infinite sand generator. Just because. And we can't use these both at the same time, which is kind of sad. Very sad. Anywho, that's going to be it for today, unless I want to tack on me figuring out how this solar panel is supposed to do anything, if it's not doing anything already. I just, I don't know, but I'm going to figure that out. If there's anything else to it, other than just set and forget, I'll append something at the end. If not, well, you guys probably already see that there's no space left in the video, <laughs> then see you guys next time. And you know what? This is what you get when I actually have some time to read and look up on things. Yeah, I'm pretty good at this stuff. Don't don't worry. I'm not as dumb as I appeared to be in the last few episodes. <laughs> Uh, I I apologize. Those are crappy episodes, but it's it's gonna get a lot better now. Now that I know my way around this these mods, I really want to look into Thomcraft next. So yeah, we'll probably do that next episode. See you guys then. Hey guys, I'm back. This time with sound. Yay! Um, there's actually a little bit more to this. Not solar panels, but I was you know playing around just a bit more. Removed that solar panel from there. Made an industrial centrifuge, which I haven't used yet. We've been having some trouble figuring out how. But I've made myself four solar panels. And I had to disable this thing again because it was broken. I think I'm going to switch to a different engine type and just refunnel the electricity back down through there. What's going on here? We are probably going to need that on. Oh, we are definitely going to need that on. Uh, update. Nano suit. Nano saber. Pretty cool. Um, solar panels. Yes. Here we go, guys. I just made a bunch of this stuff. A radiant glass pane. Advanced circuits. Advanced circuit. 
Advanced Alloy, Advanced Alloy, Advanced Machine Block, four Advanced Solar Panels. Here's what we're going to do with them. We're going to put them right here. Oh, that looks pretty. That looks very pretty, guys. This is going to be a big source of energy for us going forward. It's not the fastest in the world, but considering all things considered, it's doing a good job. I don't know what these do quite yet, but I'll figure that out, and from there, we're going to have a good time. Ooh. Ooh, so much stuff. So now I have the advanced solar panel. Next up in line is the hybrid solar panel. That doesn't seem like these things are easy enough to get. Actually, I don't know how to make iridium alloy yet. But, cenarium is just a whole bunch of uranium and cenarium. Now you need ooh matter for. And I don't know where to get that other than from an uncrafting table, if that still works. Or a mass fabricator. Um, let's check that out for one second. Wait, do I hear a skeleton? Must be a thing underneath me. Alright. Mass fabricator has been disabled. That is not good. That means we need to get... Allowed to have these? Rotary macerators are still broken. I don't know. It's so, somewhere around here is a matter fabricator. There we go. That requires highly advanced machine blocks, energy flow circuits, iridium plates. I need an implosion compressor. Explosion compressors. Ooh, that's something I can make very soon. I think it might also require some of this stuff, more of these stupid blocks that serve no purpose whatsoever other than to annoy me. I might have to move this little bit. But, yeah, I think I need to move beyond the, an MFE at this point. I think that'll be the next thing I do is get the and Mufusu. Mufasu. I need a Mufasu. Um, oh yeah, that's definitely feasible. Except for the fact that we have a lupus shortage right now. So yeah, that's my next step is to get to tier 3 energy storage. And then from there, see what I can do about making more of these advanced machine stuff thingies. Oh, I love this. Love these solar bears. Doing great, guys. Doing great. Thanks for watching, and see you guys soon.